The Atlantic Ocean, a vast expanse of water that stretches and is treacherous for ocean travel, that served a gateway for people and trade for centuries. For many years, ships has conquered those treacherous waters, but none famous than the majestic ocean liner ships. Are Celtic, Cedric, Baltic, and Adriatic. These <laughs> um, legendary vessels once were a prize of the White Star Line, an ambitious shipping comp- company with a vision to dominate the transatlantic trade. It was the 1900s. The White Star Line commissioned the building of four enormous ocean liners. To meet the great growing demand of transatlantic travel, these ships were to be the largest, most luxurious, and the safest for the time. Their mandate was clear to build ships that can surpass the White Star Line's biggest rival, the Canard, and sell the construction on the Celtic, Cedric, Baltic, and Adriatic began. It was a feat of engineering. Each ship measuring over 700 feet and weighing over 20,000 pounds and tons. These grand vessels were designed to provide an ultimate luxury experience for passengers traveling between Europe and the North Americas. The main voyage of the first ship, the Celtic, took place in 1907. It was a remarkable event with thousands of people lining up to see the largest and most luxurious ship in the world. The journey was a huge success, with passengers raving about the luscious accommodations and experiential services. The Armist Celtic was a sight to behold with nine decks, majestic funnels, and a top speed of 16 knots. It was incredible with state-of-the-art facilities, including a gym, a swimming pool, and even a Turkish bath. On 10th of July, 1907, the Celtic embarked on its main voyage from Liverpool, England to New York City, U.S. The ship was carrying over 2,000 2, passengers, including the wealthy and the famous, eagering to experience the luxury and comfort of this new and impressive vessel. However, the Celtic was not just a floating palace. It was also designed to have the most efficient cargo hold carrier. The ship had a capacity of 2,857 tons making it a, va- a very low link to the transatlantic trade. For many years, the Celtic continued to sell across the, Al- the Atlantic with minor incidents. But in 1918, during World War I, the ship was converted into a troop carrier, transporting over 30,000 soldiers from the US to Europe. Despite those sin- that significant Role in the war, the Celtic sailed back to its original purpose of passenger and cargo transport after the war ended. However, the end, the event, the advent of air travel brought the end to the golden era of steamships. The Celtic was retired in 1933. The next ship was the RMS. Adriatic in 1903. It is even, even more grandeur than its predecessor. With a capacity of 2,500 passengers, it quickly became the most popular choice of the transatlantic travelers. Her main voyage was in 1903 from Liverpool to New York, and her and she gained quick gained popularity among travelers for her luxury and comfort 
the armless Adriatic was a floating palace, the grand staircase, the lavish dining room, and even the spacious cabins made their journey a truly rememberable one. The Adriatic served as a passenger liner for many years, carrying people from Europe to the Americas. But in 1914, the outbreak of World War I changed everything. He was converted into a troop ship and aided in the war effort by transporting soldiers and supplies. Her speed and her size made her a valuable asset in the war. In 1918, the war was over. The Armist Sadriatic returned to her original purpose of ca carrying passengers, but a tragedy struck in 1919 when she was involved in the collision with another ship. The, co the collision left the ship with serious damage and she was sold to a new company for new repairs. But before those repairs were completed, she was struck with another disaster. A famous, a massive fire broke out on board, leaving the Adriatic in ruin. It seems like her fate was sealed, but a new hope emerged in 1920. The Adriatic was towed to Belfast for repairs and gave her a new lease of life. She was once again transformed into a luxurious passenger liner, and her popularity continued to grow. For the next decade, the Adriatic sailed the seas carrying passengers to their destinations and comfort and style. But in 1932, her journey would come to an end. The year was 1903, golden age of ocean travel. The RMS Baltic, a luxurious steamship, set sail on its maiden voyage from Liverpool, England to New York City, USA. Little did anyone knew, this voyage would go down in history as one of the most remarkable and mysterious stories at sea. The RMS Baltic was one of the famous White Star Line ships known for their opulence and grandeur. It was designed to carry over 2,000 passengers and crew in comfort and style. The ship was a marvel of engineering, equipped with advanced safety features and lecturous amenities. On board were passengers from all walks of life eager to start their journey across the Atlantic. Among them were immigrants, wealthy businessmen, and even a few celebrities on board. Everyone was excited for what promised to be a lecturous and unforgettable voyage. However, the RMS Baltics voyage was not without its challenges whatsoever. On its third day at sea, the ship encountered a strong storm, causing it to slow down and delay its arrival in New York. Passengers and crew braved these rough seas, many experiencing seasickness and discomfort. Despite the rough weather whatsoever, the passengers and crew remained in good spirits, enjoying the luxuries and entertainment on board. They bonded with each other and shared stories, making it most of their time at sea. But little they knew, a much greater challenge was yet to come. As the RMS Baltic approached the coast of New York, the crew discovered a mysterious stowaway on board. It was a cat whatsoever, believed to be a good luck charm for the ship. However, this would prove to be far from the truth whatsoever. The cat disappeared on the last night of the voyage, leaving behind a wave of unease among the passengers and crew. The next morning, the ship would arrive in New York, and to everyone's surprise, a mysterious cat was found roaming around on the deck unharmed. The mystery only deepened when the same cat appeared on every subsequent voyage of the RMS Baltic. Some even attributed this to the cat's nine lives, while others claimed it was a supernatural presence. Cat's mysterious appearance and disappearances became a legend of the RMS Baltic. Upon its completion, the Adriatic was an impressive 722 feet long with a capacity of over 2,800 passengers and at a top speed of 18 knots. It was renowned for its luxury. It was renowned. It was renowned for its luxurious anemones and advanced technology. Making it the epitome for making it the epitome for ocean travel at the time. The Adriatic the Adriatic boasted lavish the Adriatic boasted lavish passenger quarters, including first class suites with private bathrooms and hot and cold running water, a luxury that was unheard of at the time. It also featured two grand dining rooms. 
swimming pool, a, gyna a gymnasium, a Turkish bath, and a smoking room for the gentlemen. On its maiden voyage in June 1907, the Adriatic, the Adriatic, uh, on its maiden voyage in June 1907, the Adriatic transported more than 1,000 passengers from Liverpool to New York City in just seven days. The ship was an instant success, praised for its comfort, speed, and received accolades for its remarkable service. And received accolades for its remarkable service. But little did anyone know that this magnificent ship would also be a part of history in a different way. In November 9, in 1914, with the outbreak of the First World War, the Adriatic was called upon for its service. It was converted into a troop ship, transporting thousands of soldiers and from the battlefields over the next four years. The Adriatic's role in the war was crucial and it helped them tie the tide in the Allies' favour. After the war, the ship resumed its passenger services, but it wasn't the same. The war had taken a toll on the war had taken a toll on the once luxurious vessel. However, the following years were not without tragedy for the White Star Line. In 1912, their famous ship, RMS Titanic, sank, taking the lives of over 1,500 people. The White Star Line and its sister ships, including the four giants, came under intense scrutiny and faced a significant decline in passenger numbers. Despite those challenges, they still did well. They still did well. The sisters continued to operate, even eventually passing into the hands of its new owner, the new the famed Canar Line. In 1934, the Armist Adriatic was scrapped, following with the Adriatic in 1935. Then the Baltic met the same fate in 1933, and the Celtic remained in service until 1933. Today, their legacy li lives in the memories of the passengers who sailed on those, those magnificent ships, and the relics have been preserved in museums around the world. The Celtic, Adriatic, Baltic, and the Adriatic, four ships that redefined the transatlantic experience and solidified the arm, the White Star Line's place into history as the one of the most patronistic, patronistic, patronistic shipping companies of all time. Their grandeur may have faded, but their stories and legacies will continue to sell forever.